Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 352. Today we are doing a two box letter random of the 2022 Team Canada Juniors. This is a super hot product, mainly because of the guy on the box cover, Mr. Connor Bedard himself. Uh, what more can you say? His patch auto stuff is going for insane amounts. Really looks to be the next generational talent and yeah, lots of hype. So uh, how this break will work is that you will get uh, a random letter or letter pairing, depending on which ones. There are 12 spots in the break and it's just kind of to balance them out because like some letters like A um, and N only have one players that don't have a ton of cards. So it's kind of to balance it out. I put try to come up with like as fair amount as possible while keeping the price point like somewhat reasonable. So um, ended up being 12 spots this time. Last year was 13, but this time it's 12. Uh, you'll get the card with the first letter of the last name. So Bedard would go to B, Shane Wright would go to W, uh, so on and so on. Sarah Nurse would go to N. You, yeah, <laughs> there's really not much more to be said. Uh, there are two breaks on the site still available. There are six spots left in the 2021 20, Skybox Metal Universe Champions random pack style. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description below for that. And then there's also uh, 23 spots left in a 21-22 Synergy uh, half case break. That one's $37 per spot, so a little bit on the like cheaper end of sides. And honestly, the cards are decently nice. So um, yeah, if you're interested, again, links below. No, Synergy's not everyone's favorite product, but could be a fun little break there. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get into the break. So three times on the names, three times on the uh, letters, and what you line up with is what you get. And in the event that there is a card that is um, like a last name that has the letter, ooh, hang on one second, I just gotta get the uh, Safari open up here. There we go. Um, sorry, there we go. In the event that there is a letter that like isn't on the, that wasn't on the checklist that shows up, um, it'll be a random at the end so uh there shouldn't be but just in case all right here we go once twice third time waylon only and then brandon on the bottom there we go and here are all the letter pairings again i kind of went through the checklist count to see how many times each name appeared on the checklist and it's not an exact science, but it is close enough to get like at least, I think it's at least 100 cards on the checklist per spot. So um, obviously you want B, uh, it is probably the best over, like it's cause it's Bedard. There's some other pretty solid letters as well. I will have to pull up my full list, but um, let's go ahead and do these three times. Good luck, once, twice, Third time, B is on the top, A and P on the bottom. Here we go. All right, Waylon, you've got B, Lance with W, Alexander with S, uh, Kenneth with L, Bill, you've got H and Z, uh, Chris with the F, and then Michael with G, uh, Jason with the Ds, uh, Robert with the Ms, Andy, you've got the Johns. It just Honestly, it worked out like that, so it's kind of funny. Dwayne with C, and Brandon with A and P. So I'll leave those up for a little bit here. Because I don't have the team viewers set up for random letters, but. All right. Let me, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the, uh, I think I left it on here. Uh, I leave it on here? Maybe it's on my other computer. But yeah, I forget which one was, uh, there's one that was really, really, really good. It was, oh, it wasn't that, okay. Um, There's one other one that was really good. I think G was good. So let me pull up the checklist here. And then we'll get started. So who are the bigger, um, the bigger or like RPAs? Yeah, G. Yeah, G is really G is really good. 
Um, you've got Dylan Garand, who's one of the better goalies in the products. Caden Gooley, who is an NHLer. Dylan Gunther, who's a top pick. Riley Greek, who's doing pretty good. Um, and then there's a couple other p- players. Like, I think David Goyette's half decent. Um, so G's actually really good as well. All right. Here we go. Again, everything ships, including base from this, just because some base cards will end up being valuable. Others will not, but, um, yep. Obviously, with them doing blasters this year, the regular base cards aren't as valuable as what they tend to be, especially of, like, Bedard and stuff, just because there's more of it that's been printed. But here we go. Hopefully, we get a nice patch. Nice RPA would be nice. Uh, we have box number three, two, four, two. All right. Let's get started here. One second. There we go. All right. All right. If we see the patch, we'll probably save it to the end as per, as per normal. But, oh, okay. So kind of. Oh, okay. Pride of the programs are just base cards. Just okay. They're base cards. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, it's also my first look. I actually didn't get any of this here. Uh, so we have uh, Coca Delic, Coca Delic, Delic uh, for the D's. Uh, Natalie Spooner for the S's. Uh, Graydon Seitman, part of the program for S. Uh, ooh, missed a card here. We got an Owen Zellweger for the Z. And try and keep them separated. Uh, Malte on the red. A little bit of a soft corner there for M. And we have a Rieger Lorenz for the L's. These aren't in any particular order. That was one, two, three. Five, six, six cards per pack. Yep, perfect. All right. The foils are a cool addition, but all right. I'm just gonna go front to back, I guess. Uh, Fillier for the Fs. Move this box to the side. Well, it's got a little bit of a soft corner, unfortunately, but Connor Bedard on the red. That's a nice get right out of the gate. But yeah, definitely a soft bottom left corner. Looks like both the reds have that issue, but hey, it's Connor Bedard. It's a red. You can't go wrong. <laughs> uh, Maverick Bork for the Bs on the Prospectus Momentus. Dylan Garand for the Gs on the Pro- Prospectus Momentus Gold or Yellow. It might be Yellow. I think they called this like electric last year. Where is, what did they call it? Um, electric yellow, yeah, 149. So this one there, we'll sleeve up and topple that one just cause Grand's pretty good. And again, it's a numbered card. Numbered cards and bedards will be the sleeve and top loads. So I really just grabbed the from the wrong pile twice. I did. Yeah, my thick card sleeves right next to my thin card sleeves. So there we go. There we go. Garan on the G's. Keep those to the side. Uh, Mash Meyer for the M's and Lambos for the L's. There we go. Well, first Bedard. So that's always nice. Yeah, we're just going to go front to back. Uh, Tanner Howe for the H's. Don't think we have an H yet. Uh, Lucas Cormier for the C's. Do we have a C yet? I don't think so. Shane Wright on the pride of the program red for the W's. Again, looks like all of our reds have soft corners. So just as a heads up, it is a thing. Uh, Do we have a W yet? I don't think we have a W yet. So we'll put that. We'll we'll maybe sleeve that one up. But 
Uh, Moldenhauer for the M's on the program of excellence. Ooh, sparkling standouts. These are cool. Where is M's? M's are here. Uh, sparkling standouts. These are actually really like, actually kind of cool. Uh, Caden Gooley for the G's. Let's leave that one up. And Goyette for the G's on the pride of the program. We had a G, yeah, the G one there. All right, cool. Sleeve up the sparkling sandals. Those look cool. Yeah, we'll give the Shane Wright the sleeve and top load treatment. He is, he is after all, like a top prospect, but his young gun will probably be in series two, so that's kind of cool. All right, we have our second old. Kind of do the top loaded cards in two different piles. We'll do like recaps and then uh, numbers. There we go. So it takes a few minutes to get organized on a new product, especially when it's like letter based. <laughs> uh, Shelton for the S's, that goes here. Uh, O'Neill for the O's, that's with J and N. Do I have a J or an N? Oh. I should have organized this in a better way, but we might just give up on this at some point. Uh, Goyette for the G's on the red. That one was actually not as bad on the corner. Caden Gooley on, these aren't numbered, but the pride of the programs, I forget what they call them. They had a name for them. They're not um, pride of the, sorry, I just, Kind of trying to remember what they called this exact parallel. Uh, uh, actually, is this a red champagne? Maybe? Might be the red champagne. That makes the most sense. Uh, Hvidsen as a forward or as for H's. H goes there, and Morden for M's. So, couple ghoulies. I feel like that champagne, right? Makes the most sense. That's a cool card. We'll put that in the, like, numbered pile. Because I don't see how that's, like, red or anything else. Stankoven. For the S's, uh, Lambos for the L's, Bach for the B's, goes there. Uh, Fillier on the Prospectus Momentus Red to 549 for the F's, and Stacy for the S's, and Sova for the S's. All right. H and Z were together. I think we have an H and a Z, right? What is that? I don't know. I'll go back and sort through after. Uh, Sabrango for the S's. Morden again for the M's. Uh, Mastro Domenico for the M's. A little bit of a soft corner on that red as well. Uh, Moldenhauer, definitely a soft corner on that one. That's just a foil, but soft corner there. Uh, Matthew Ward on the clear cut program of excellence for the W's and Mary Philippe Poulin. That entire pack kind of has soft corners for P. Uh, P is with A's and I don't think we have an A yet. All right, Matthew Ward. We'll sleeve up the clear cut just because it is a tougher hit to get. So nice one there. So far, M's like by far in the lead. Uh, but G's G's probably got the best. I guess B's got the best hit. But Radley Greek for G. Campbell for C. Uh, Where did I put the C's down here? Okay. Uh, Zellweger for the Z's on the red. Again, really like his game. That goes with the H's. Cool. Oh yeah. There we go. Uh, Matthew Wood, not to be confused with Matthew Ward, for the W's. That is 
I think it's by itself. Yeah, because we just had this sheen, right? Uh, Will, I forget, oh, I forget how to pronounce his last name, but I think it's Cole. Uh, and Reed Dick, there we go for the Ds. Uh, do we have Ds out? Thought we did, yeah, there we go. All right, I think we've got every letter combination accounted for. All right, Nolan Lalonde, we can start to pick up pace hopefully a little bit here. Uh, Josh Davies on the D, uh, D is, I really should have done this alphabetically. <laughs> Nolan Lalonde on the jersey. That's for L. We'll put that to the side. Grand for the G's. And that is it because we had a jersey card. So that hasn't changed. Uh, O'Rourke for O's. O's are with J and N. O's are up there. Uh, O'Rourke again. Justin Serta, former Vancouver Giant for the S's. Again, same thing, soft bottom left corner. Uh, Sabrango on the probably electric blue would be my guess to 349 for the S's. Casa for the C's. And Rock for the L's. One of the main players that you might want to get in this is actually Adam Fantilli because he hasn't had a ton of stuff and he'll probably be second overall. So Emily Clark, Ashton Bell, uh, Philman. He's actually why Fs are by themselves. Uh, Casa on the program of excellence, Sherman and Borgo. Next pile, we got another kind of jersey card here. Uh, Delich, Delich again. Into uh, Goyette on the jersey for the G's, nice. Turnbull on the like silver foil for T. Where'd I put? Did I, did I not have T in this? All right, well, I didn't have T in this. I swear I had it. Was it on the? Hang on. I didn't have tea in this for whatever reason. Uh, Bourbonnet, one second. I've just got to check because it isn't showing up and I'm pretty sure I had it. I thought I had it in here. It's Turnbull and Thompson. <laughs> one second. Sorry about this. Uh, Team Canada Juniors. Do, 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 do. Let me just pull up the listing. Uh, I will. For whatever reason, I just. I guess I just missed it when I was doing the listing. I think they were supposed to be paired up with someone, but I don't know who. We said they'd be random at the end though, so we'll do random at the end because they weren't listed. All right. That is my bad there. They're definitely supposed to be with someone, so Turnbull again. Uh, Bedard on the pride of the program. And these are where the money's at. <laughs> Uh, we'll put the Bedards in their own pile. Uh, Ambrose is with P. Just pull in. Uh, Vidson is with the H's. Pickering with the P's. Uh, P is with the A's. And then Fantilli on the pride of the program. We'll sleeve up the Fantillies actually. Because again, high draft picks normally sell decently well. Um, especially when they don't have a ton of cards. So. I think T is only Blair, if I remember correctly, it's Blair Turnbull and there's another Team Canada women's player, so. But yeah. Moldenhauer, Borgo, Shane Wright on the program of excellence, Goyette on the exclusives to 100, 100 of 100. I'll sleeve that one up because it's to 100. Uh, Dragasevich. He is down here. And Collins, there we go. 
Nice go, yeah. G's cleaning up in like the nice parallels, I think. I think, I think, I think. Ooh, I think we have a high gloss. Fimis for F's, Lorenz for L, Sightman on the red for S's, and oh, it's an auto. Owen Pickering for P. Nice one there. A little bit of a softish corner, but not horrible. Silva on the S and Grieg on the G. Nice auto there. I think he's, if you're, if they're grouped, he's probably one of the tougher ones, I'd say. It's a solid auto. We'll put that in the kind of recap pile, the bigger recap pile. I just want to see what grouping it's in. Uh, do we get an auto patch? It should be an auto patch per, no, it's not an auto patch per box. All right, so that's definitely changed from last year. Shane Wright, uh, Dow, Matthew Wood. Uh, oh, Shane Wright, Program of Excellence Auto. Hey, that's pretty solid. Nice little Shane Wright Auto. That's gonna be a short print for sure. That is going to be a short print for sure. Uh, where are the autos? So base signature. Uh, this is the pride in the program is 92. So that Owen Pickering is a group C1616, which is definitely one of the more short, well, not most shorter print ones, but a little bit more shorter printed than the group D's for sure. And then Shane Wright on the program of excellence. Uh, where are those? Those are right. There we go. He might be a little bit more common than what I'm expecting, but should still be pretty good. Uh, he's not prospectus momentous, middle hopefuls. Do they not have the uh, Program of Excellence autos listed on here? Uh, I don't see them. Oh, it's a uh, base Program of Excellence. So they're part of the base, so 147. Okay, that makes sense. They've changed this product a lot. So Group C, 1 and 4, 438. They've definitely uh, tuned the product a decent amount. Those used to be like their own kind of subsets. But now they're part of the base. Hey, Shane Wright Auto. Our autos were solid so far. Here, let me move these to the side here. There we go. Uh, Reed Dick, and then uh, these there, and Matthew Ward. So it's a little chaotic. Next time I do this break, it's just gonna be uh, opening up the pack straight up. So. Uh, all right, so tease to the side here. Here we go, final box. Sorry for all the chaos. Uh, don't know what happened with the tease, but we'll just random them off at the end of the break, I guess. So I think they were, I want to say they were paired up with a different letter. Two six one. Well, I'll figure it out, and uh, we'll random them off at the end of the break, at the very least. So, uh, shouldn't be anything too major. So, no, no guaranteed patch auto anymore. Thompson, there's one of the other T's. Casa on the red. Uh, Riley Grieg on the jersey for the G's. G's are cleaning up, and Kalen Parker on the foil for the P's. All right, Fimis for the Fs, Seeley for the Ss, really like his game, Borgo for the Bs, uh, Gunther for Gs, and uh, Mastro Domenico, Mastro Domenico for Ds, Johnson for Js, J, O, and N. Here we go, one second. Here my 
cat's just scratching at everything in the uh, in the main living area, and I can hear it. She's gonna get in trouble. Uh, Ambrose, that's with the peas. There we go. Uh, Del goes there. Sherman goes here. A little bit of a soft corner. Uh, backwards? No, just numbered. Uh, to 549, Reed Dick on the Prospectus Momentus. Uh, these are there. Casa here. And Sherman there. Got a jersey card here. Virgo. Spooner. Nolan Lalonde again. So two Lalonde jerseys. This time the pride of the program. Sarah Nurse on the ends. That's with J. And that is the last card of the pack. All right. Now it's a little bit smoother. I kind of see where the like popular teams lie though. Wood. Siteman. Siteman. A little bit of soft corner there. Uh, Gooley on the program of excellence. Uh, Fantilli and Stankoven. Sleep up the Fantillies. Put them up there. There we go. All right. I want to see a patch auto, though. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, Zellweger, I believe it was H and Z were together. Affiliate. Uh, Lorenz on the L. Uh, Sova on the electric blue to 349. Fast on the F. Sort of. Uh, Davies. Cormier. Uh, Moldenhauer. Salnier and Bork. Jersey card coming up. Ambrose. Tanner Howe. Uh, Josh Philman on the jersey for the Fs. Uh, Dick for the Ds. And Dragosevich. I think they're using different decoys. Ooh, we got a like full red here. Malte, uh, Philman, O'Neill. Again, soft. A lot of the reds have soft corners as a heads up. Actually, a lot of the cards in general. Uh, Stacy on the exclusives to 100 for the S's. Ward and Debian. Uh, they go there. So the base exclusives. So it looks like they added just like some more parallels this year. Kind of a bit of a expanded on set, but not a ton. Well, we have a patch. We'll save that till the end. We'll save that to the end. All right. Bach. Goyette. Lambos. Uh, Lambos. Well, there's a foil Bedard. That's always nice to see. Gunther and Gooley. Double G's. Add the Bedard there. Always nice to get Bedard parallels. That's probably the cooler one because, you know, foiled and all. It's like a, it's a soft foiling too. I like it. Uh, Broku, Brochu. For bees, Pickering for the peas, Stankoven on the red, nice red there. Uh, Broku, Brochu again, Daoust, and how? Daoust is the prospectus momentous red to 549. So we should have a clear cut and a champagne, I think. Uh, we'll coil for C's. Filman for F's, uh, Thompson for T's, uh, Delic on the sparkling standouts for D's, Bedard on the base card, and Lalonde for the L's. Nice Bedard. Again, 
each bedard is like probably what 20 at least 20 bucks so if you get if you get b like you get your money back in the break which is kind of wild <laughs> Parker, Wood, Seeley on the red again. A little bit of a soft corner there. Uh, yep. De Noye on the Champagne for D. These are really nice. They pop a lot. Uh, Bork and Rattray. Uh, R is. Where's R? Do not have ours in here as well. Apparently it didn't copy over, so I don't know what I did, but we'll just random it off at the end, I guess. Um, just like the tease. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I did with the randoms, but Lorenz, uh, Femis, and like the listing. Uh, Filmin for Fs. Gunther on the Prospectus Momentus to 549. Ghouli for G's. And Gunther for G's. All right. Last one here. We'll sleep up the Gunther just because it's a better one. All right, here we go. Patch time. Well, let's hope it's a let's hope it's a big name. Uh Denoye. Jenner. Goes with John, Shane, right? Another base Bedard. You take those, Shelton, for S's and Ron Connor, but Hvitson on the patch auto to one ninety nine for H Z. Well, there we go. So we'll have a few randoms to do here. Um, let me sleep up the Bedard. I'm just gonna go run quickly and check to see if I can figure out. Something, but they weren't listed in the random, they weren't listed on the site. So, we're you know what? We'll random them off and then I'll sort out afterwards. So, we'll get it fixed up for the next break. But so, we'll have five randoms essentially. We'll just do uh, we'll just random off the off the list of names um, five times and then let's go um, here, let's go first or er, yeah, how will, how will we do this? We'll go. Top to bottom, so first random gets Rattray, second random gets Thompson, third gets the Turnbull base, fourth gets the Thompson red, and then fifth gets the Turnbull. So that's what we'll do. We'll just random them off because they're not listed in here, right? I'm not missing a T. Yeah. All right, well, let me get five random set up here. And sorry about that. Um, I don't know what happened there. It looks for the most part though that like everyone ended up with an even amount of cards, which is nice. All right. So again, starting off with rat tray, we'll go top to bottom here. So it goes uh, rat tray, Thompson, Turnbull, Thompson, Turnbull. Let me just write it down in the Excel sheet so I know what I'm copying and pasting into uh, rat tray Thompson Turnbull Thompson red make these all 18. 16 and all right hey robert yeah long time no see uh i somehow missed two letters uh i don't know don't know how to be completely honest but luckily it's r's and t's um again it looks like for the most part, everyone ended up with a fairly even amount of cards, which is nice. Uh, the one pairing that was like kind of on the slightly weaker, but still had upside was the John pairing. So um, yeah, again, uh, I'll figure out which ones they were supposed to be paired up with and give those spots the overtime packs. I think it, 
because again, it's very mi it's a very minor amount of cards, so um, and it ended up being pretty equal. So, all right, here we go. Randoms on these again. We'll do them in order. Uh, apologies, I'll have it fixed for the next break, but for the most part, like it's yeah. Everyone has a shot at them. Here we go. Where is so again? This is gonna be the order. Uh, I've already copied the list of names in, I think. But yeah, so we'll do the Rat Tray, the Thompson, the Turnbull, the Thompson Red, then the Turnbull Silver. All right, so here we go. Rat Tray first, once, twice, third time. Michael. There we go. All right, Thompson next. And all 12 names are in here. Once, twice, third time, Andy. Oop, I just closed, hang on one second. How did I just close that off? One second, let me switch back over here. It is just, I don't know what is happening today. My fingers are misclicking left, right, and center. All right, there we go, Andy. All right, once, twice, third time. Let's go, there we go, Andy again. Andy again on the Turnbull. That's kind of nice that like you got one of the worst groupings and they're getting a couple of them. All right, Thompson Red. And these aren't major cards, but just the fairest way to do them given that they're not actually written. So once, twice, third time. Andy, you were cleaning up on the randoms. <laughs> All right, and then the Turnbull Silver. Will Andy be dethroned once? Twice, third time, Jason. Jason comes in at the end. All right. So to recap, uh, the rat tray goes to Michael. Uh, Andy gets the Thompson Turnbull and Thompson Red. I'm just gonna move those over there now before I forget about that. So Thompson Turnbull, Thompson go there. Uh, the Turnbull goes to Jason who had the D. And then Jamie Lee Rattray goes to Michael, who had G. All right. All right, those are sorted out now. <laughs> and apologies for that. Um, if anyone had like a super weak break, I don't think for the most part, everyone got about the same amount of cards, but uh, yeah. In terms of special base that kind of got saved up, we got three base Bedards. So that's nice. One base fan or a couple base fantillies. It's not not too shabby there. Not too bad. Uh, we got a Gunther red to 549, a Stacy red to 100. Uh, our jersey cards were Philman, uh, Lalonde, Greek, Goyette, and Lalonde. So a couple duplicate names, some decent names, nothing major though. Uh, Ward was a clear cut, Shane Wright on a red program of excellence, and a sparkling standouts of Kate and Gooley. These are really nice cards. Um, and in terms of like bigger stuff, we got the Owen Pickering Auto, the Goyette exclusive to 100, the Gooley Champagne, Pride of the Programs, and then the Grand Electric Yellow to 149. Uh, I would say the Patch Auto of Connor Havidston, kind of like one of the better hits of the break. Two Bedard parallels, one being the base red, a little bit of a soft corner, but the foil silver one is super nice as well. And hit of the break, Shane Red Auto. So, all right, thank you for uh, getting through that with me. I will get these packed up. Again, they're kind of all like, for the most part, everyone's got a nice little haul of cards here. So uh, yeah, take care and I will see you uh, next week for breaks. We'll try and get a couple breaks up, but we'll depends on when it comes out and stuff. Uh, cause I want to do some interesting stuff with the format. So take care everyone. See ya.